The eyes are said to be the window to the soul. The almond-shaped eye is also a trait of Down syndrome, a diagnosis that can elicit fear in any parent. These fears are based on a belief system of misconceptions. Oh wait, we're getting ahead of ourselves. When our daughter was born, it was a time of limitless possibilities. Our pregnancy with Liam was welcomed with the same excitement and celebration. There you are. Liam arrived 10 weeks early, and despite the danger, we were encouraged, supported, and given hope. At 10 days old, we received the diagnosis that Liam had Down syndrome. We were told to mourn the child we would never have. And in a breath, the hope left the room. Those were the head of the NICU's final words of advice to guide us as new parents. His words were an obvious prejudgment deriving from whatever notion he had of Down syndrome, a notion we would realize was common in society. It was at that point we decided we wouldn't listen to what others said, and we'd just let Liam show us who he was going to be. Oh, put our hands and say, Liam's here today. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What should we sing? Should we sing Wheels on the Bus? When we moved Liam into the school system, we left this bubble we had where we knew Liam's abilities. And who he was. Yeah, and it opened us up to... The world. And advice and comments. He's a cute one. You think that when he gets older, he's going to have that superhuman strength? Those are happy people. A lot of them do. No list of tests you could do to find out. It was overwhelming. So we did what any parent would do. We made a web series. You get the bed. Yeah. Pack up the picnic okay, I could blanket. Find out. I could find what? out. I could find out what? They're just opinions. But when it comes to the school system, these opinions and misconceptions have serious impact on Liam's life, his education, and the opportunities afforded him. All right, those are Liam's stack of words that he does for pronunciation. Everything is timed so he doesn't get too tired. To prove he belongs in the classroom on curriculum, Liam works extra hours during the school year, and we support him in his lessons all summer long. C-O-U. He is the hardest working person we know. We were told that the school wanted to take Liam off curriculum. We're going into the IEP. Liam's IEP, we're going into the second week. This is the third session. With all that unknown, the world was really turned upside down. Other parents were frustrated uh -huh. as they tried to figure out how to support their children in their academics, but we already knew how to support oh. Liam. And I was thinking, you know, Liam can do this. Yeah. It's so circle the word. We now. implemented the accommodations in his IEP that we had fought so hard can to get. Write it right there? And for the first you, time, you carry Liam's someone. report card reflected his true ability. Okay. Liam's abilities surpass the restrictions that are put upon him by the stereotypes people have of Down syndrome. Prejudices created in a time when differences were feared and not valued. Liam proves himself time and time again. But why does he have to keep proving himself? Why must he validate his existence in the world or in a classroom? He has the same right as anyone to live his life on his own terms without limits. People with Down syndrome get married, have children, speak before Congress, compete in the Ironman, graduate from college, and are changing the world every day. This is the world we want for Liam, one that can see beyond the shape of his eyes.